You're tuned in to Unrestricted here on Our Crenshaw TV. I'm your host, Moon Baby. We're celebrating the 70th anniversary with Crenshaw Dreams, the project by Terrace Martin. My girl came through today, Rose Gold. Hi. Right off the edge, you threw me, boy, like the wind blew me away. So you are on this compilation with Terrace Martin, who you've worked with for a while now. Mm -hmm. And you guys just worked on an amazing project that I've yet to hear that's dropping July 14th, The Poly Seeds. Yep. And were you songwriting on there or were you performing or doing everything? I did a lot of different stuff. I was kind of singing backgrounds on some things. I had uh, a cover that I did and then What's I got the to write a record. A record that he, um, he wrote and produced with Preston called You and Me. And so you did a cover of that? Yeah, so okay. I, I did like my version of that. And then um, I wrote a record with Chachi and another record called uh, Intentions. I'm singing on that one too. That's with me, Chachi, and Wayan. So okay. on a couple of them. So you work with a lot of artists. Tell us some of the artists you've written for and worked with. Um. A lot of the people that y'all would know more from California too. Like I, I started being on a lot of Nipsey stuff. Nipsey Hustle. Yeah. They, okay, you gotta let them know which Nipsey. Nipsey you Hustle. About? <laughs> the Marathon he, Man. Yes, he had. Uh, he was recording and working with a lot of different producers, and they would sample my voice. And then I started getting on all the rappers. So stuff. they were sampling your vocals. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's kind of how people was finding out about me. And then um, I work with Faith Evans a lot. Um, I Faith is doing the 70th anniversary show here. Oh, so for real? In September, September 9th. This Biggie, this Biggie and Faith album, that, that made me so happy because it's historical. You know what I'm saying? These two people that I grew up listening to, and not only for her to become like one of my good friends, but like somebody to like believe in me enough to be like, yo, come get on this record. Like, so you're on the Biggie and I record? Yeah, I was writing on some stuff. What? So it's fun. That is historical. Congratulations is. on that. That's huge. Thank you. Let's get back to Terrace. You've been working with him for a while and performing with him on stage. And you know, what do you like most about working with Terrace Martin? The honesty. It's just honest. It's, it's just, he just want to see me be my best. It don't matter. I might do the, 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 the best that I thought, you know? And he'd be like, no, nah, you got to change this. And then when I do do that, it's like, oh, dang, it did get better. He's definitely the guide of this. It's my project, it's my feelings, my expression, everything. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's leading me in the right direction instead of me just doing it all on my own. Okay. So tell us the name of the song on the Crenshaw Dreams album. It's called Threw Me Off. And it was produced by my homeboy Brody Brown. Chris and, Brody? Yeah, Chris. <laughs> he works with the Smeezingtons, Bruno Mars. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Um, when we first wrote that record, um, I actually wrote that record for Bruno. And he's like, let's write a record for Bruno. And then when I walked out the booth, it, we wrote it really quick. And I came out and he was like, this is your sound, you know? You should keep this for yourself. And after that, I started to build off of mm -hmm. that because that was all, everything I felt, the, the, the notes, everything was just so genuine and so easy. It just came like super quick. So it was I'm like, meant why to not? You. Yeah. I'm like, why not stick with this? One last question for you. Mm -hmm. You named so many amazing vocalists, your top five. If there was anybody that you haven't worked with yet, what's that one person that you know, no matter what, you want that chance to work with? It's a couple people, but number one would be Celine Dion. Like, I love her. Would you write her a ballad? I get a little, it'd be like, I love that lady so bad. Celine, if you're listening, look, if you're listening to us. No, but good luck with that, and <laughs> congratulations on everything. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to let you hit the stage now. We got Rose Gold performing on Unrestricted, our Crenshaw TV. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, 
Situations, oh, what would you do? Even if I wanted to 